Okay, we got our good friend over here. He's oh, right in front of the uh, Dodge Hellcat. This is a Dodge Hellcat car, and it's got oh that special God. logo. Let's see that logo right behind oh where you're standing there. You know that tells us that it's a Hellcat. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Whoa, see, it looks like a cat. What do you think of this car? How many horsepower? Seven plus. 707 horsepower with something that you just drive down the street. So what do you think of this car here? Do you think it's pretty cool? It's smoking. It is fucking smoking. It's a Hellcat, and it's a dog. It's a Hellcat. You see those tires on the back there? Those are special. Those aren't from the factory. These are special racing tires. They're called uh, they're called uh, ET Street. ET Street and Strip. Uh, no, Karen just bought? Tires. What? Do you want me to say it? No. <laughs> we're doing a video out here though. This is li We're live in St. Paul, Alberta. We've got a good friend out here who likes fine automobiles and stuff like that. And this is like his night where we showed up with a 700 horsepower Hellcat. And these guys are out here on the street and they're going to see what this car can do. Eh? It's going to be a, sh a shit show. Pretty much. <laughs> He's going to rip them up? <laughs> I'll tell him to. We'll see if he does. Eh? Okay. Oh, look at those black tires, man. Okay. You see how wide those tires are? Those tires are like really, really wide there. Eh? Those ones can make wheelies too. I know. Huh? Yeah. Say burn up. Okay. But the other thing with these tires that's important is that the compound is soft rubber, really soft rubber, so it bites the road. Eh? So then you can actually go quicker off the line. Eh? But it still smokes because uh, those tires can smoke. Okay, well anyways, yeah. say goodbye to our friends in TV land. Hello to the Hellcat, and look at the boys, the Backstreet Boys. The boys, the boys on the, what north side of the city are they from here? Oh, God. They represent the Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys. But look at that Hellcat. I know, that Hellcat is fantastic. We're proud to be able to bring this in town and to show you guys the car. That is the Hellcat. The, <laughs> the famous That's Hellcat. And I don't know what Karen bought, but we'll, what'd it's you buy? Let me see. Oh no, she bought something there. We'll find out. Why? Well, anyways, we're at the Great Canadian Liquor Store here, so uh, apparently liquor and uh, vehicles <laughs> mixes well. Okay, there's our friends in St. Paul, Alberta. There's the, the people that are uh, in town having fun. Coolie Uli and out, and uh, we're in the Hellcat. I'm gonna hold the camera pretty still. Is there right any RCMP right there? Yes. <laughs> what is there? Yes. I would Where? Go. Nowhere. I would go. I don't see any. The why would you say yes? <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to say yes. <laughs> So that's it. Fun in St. Paul, Alberta. Okay, let's hear badass speed, and we're in a Hellcat here today, and we're gonna give you a little bit of a review of what we think of it. Now, I haven't actually driven this car, okay, um, but we're a passenger in the car, and we had a few pulls. We know what it feels like. Uh, we know what uh, it's like to ride as a passenger in the car. It's actually, uh, let's put it this way. The back seat is pretty damn good because you can see two adults in the back seat. So right off the bat, uh, this car has got an awful lot of room. It's uh, it's a nice car to ride in. On the other hand, uh, looking at the front of it here, it actually looks pretty cool. You've got these uh, two vents, uh, one over here and another one over here. And uh, the hood looks pretty cool. So it's when you're driving in the car, you know, you know you're driving something uh, a little bit special. It's just not just a standard uh, car with a standard hood. The uh, the dashboard of the car is uh, really really good. Like phenomenal number of uh, readings, uh, different controls, different functions. Uh, you've got uh, the valet mode, the black mode, the red mode. They got modes coming out of their yin yang here in the Hellcat. 
It's got a really nice dash. The dash is uh, accented with red, as you can see here. And uh, you've got a nice speedometer that goes up to uh, 340 kilometers per hour. And a uh, nice uh, tachometer over on the other side. Looks like it redlines at about uh, just under 6,000 uh, RPM. Uh, other features in the car, it's got a really nice uh, large size uh, pull down visor on both the passenger side and on the uh, driver's side. Nice uh, large mirror in here. And uh, it's got nice uh, accents here of a kind of a carbon fiber type uh, look to the uh, dashboard, which is uh, pretty cool. Down here we've got uh, some of the climate control stuff and uh, radio and uh, with uh, nice knobs to be able to control it. You know, not all just touch green, that sort of thing. There's our uh, stick shift. We've got the uh, Pernindle. Go <laughs> and then you can put it in manual mode. And when you're in manual mode, then you have the ability with the, uh, the paddle shifters to manually shift up and down gear-wise. So if you don't like where your automatic transmission is shifting point-wise on your uh, RPM, you can uh, take that into your own hands. Our burnout should be yes, coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah, Got a burnout right. somewhere up there. Hey, but overall, um, lots of uh, a lot more room than say a Camaro, like especially uh, this visual aspect here, or out of the side of the car. A little bit of a dead spot in the back there, behind Karen's uh, head there. Yeah, you see, there's a bit of a blind spot in there. Uh, but you know, what do you expect for a uh, muscle car? You know, you're not going to get something. It's like driving a box, so uh, this is pretty good. There's extra. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my Jesus. Here's, That's great. Here's the burnout on the way to town. We're on our way back from town. Whoa. Go figure. <clears throat> it's got these extra vents in here for uh, defrosting. Nice system in here for uh, climate control. Overall, I have to say it's, it's a pretty nice car. Pretty nice car. Would I own one? Yeah, probably I'd own one. But I'm a Camaro guy. <laughs> you can't, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know. Maybe eventually it owns own one. But uh, looks pretty cool. I'd have to say if you uh, own one of these cars and you're driving it, you're a pretty fortunate person. Okay, we're heading in the countryside here. We're, we're on our way to Mexico.